In this video I'm going to show you how to read scales using measuring cylinders and weighing scales. But before we do that you need to be able to do an exercise like this. And you can do something like this then you're going to find reading scales very straightforward. Okay so it's a fill in the gap exercise. Each of these steps or gaps um, is going up in equal numbers from 40 up to 50. So how many steps would I have to take? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten steps to get to 50. And it's a total actually, if I took one big step that would be a total of 10. So I'm going up a total of 10 and I've got to share out a total of 10 into 10 equal size jumps. So that means that each jump is going to be worth one. So that's 41, that's 42, 43, and so on, 48, 49, 50. Okay, so again we're going up a total of 10. And how many jumps are we making? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 jumps. So that means each jump is worth 2. 42, 44, 46, 48. Okay, this from 40 to 50, still a total of 10. And we're going up 1, 2, 3, 4 in 4 steps, 4 equal jumps. So that means that each one is going to be worth 2.5. So 42.5 is the next one, 45, 47.5, and the last one, okay, 40 to 50, that's still a total of 10, and we're doing it in one, two jumps this time, which means that each jump is going to be worth five, so... 40, 45, 50. Okay, and you can do that, you'll be able to read scales, no problem. Right, this is the reading we're taking here on this measuring cylinder. The total, I can start actually from 20, I can, t I can start from anywhere as long as I can work out the total distance. So let's go from the closest number, the closest two numbers to my reading. Uh, 20 up to 25. That's a total of 5. How many jumps do I have to make? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 jumps from 20 to 25. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So each jump or each little uh, increment, each little tick mark is going to be worth 1. So that's 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, so the reading here is 24. Next one, this reading down here. The total, okay, so I go up from 10 to 15. That's the, the total jump that I want to make, and I need to work out what each little step would be worth in between. Well, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten jumps that I need to make. Five divided by ten is one half, or 0 0.5. If you thought that five divided by ten was two, that would be wrong. Five divided by ten is a half or 0 0.5. 10 divided by 5 is 2. That's com completely, that's something else completely. Okay, so that means that each little tick mark is going up in 0 0.5s or halves. So I'm counted up. 10 and a half, 11, 11 and a half, 12, 12 and a half, 13. And really it's 13. Okay, in this example, um, I'm going to be taking a reading just below one of the tick marks, so it's going to be more of an estimate than a, than a completely accurate reading, but 
the principle is the same. From 25 up to 30 is a gap of 5. Okay, and how many jumps would that be? 1, 2, that would be 2 jumps. So 5 divided by 2 is 2.5 or 2.5. Two so in which case the tick mark is 27.5. Okay, but the reading is a little bit below 27.5. Um, my best guess, although it is only a, a guess or an estimate, is that the reading is 27. Okay, that's as accurate as I can probably be. Okay, this one here, um, I'm going from, let's say I go from 40 up to 50, so I can work out what each tick mark is worth. That's a total of 10, and between 40 and 50 it's um, there's one, two, three, four, five jumps. Okay, so that means each one's worth two. Oh, that's the first one. So in which case, that's a reading of 42. Uh, so from here to here is a gap of 10, and we do that in one, two jumps. So each jump is worth five, uh, and that must mean that's 55 then. 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, yep, that works. Okay, we've got this here now. So from 60 up to 80, right, that's a jump of 20 this time. How many steps? One, two, three, four, five five equal steps or jumps means that each one is worth four. So counting up in fours, 60, 64, 68, 72, 76, 80, yeah. So going up in fours works, which means that I said this was 68, 64, 68, yeah. Okay, uh, let's try, okay. So 120 up to 140, that's a gap of 20. Um, and then uh, there are two jumps. So uh, that would be 20 divided by two. That means each jump is worth 10. 120, add on 10, 130. Does that work? 140, 150, 160, yeah. So going up in 10s works. Um, right. This is from 100 up to 150. That's a gap of 50. And um, we're doing that in two jumps. That's 25 per jump, 25 milliliters, shall we say? 25 milliliters. 100, 125, 150. That works. That'll be 175 then, 225, yeah. Okay. Right, mm, weighing scales. Uh, exactly the same principle. Um, so from here around to here, that's between 70 and 80, that is, that's 10. And there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 equal steps. So each one's going to be worth 1. That there is 72. In that case, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, yeah. Okay, let's go from 60 to 80. That's a gap of 20. How many steps? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 steps. So each step is going to be worth 2. So starting at 60, 60, 62, 64, 66, 68, 70, 72, 74, 76, 78, 80. Yeah, so that was 68. Um, from 80 up to 100 is a gap of 20. How many steps from 80 to 100 in this case? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 4. Uh, and so we're going up in 4s. 80, 84, 88, 92, 96, 100. Yeah, it works. Uh, and that was 92. 
one way of um, helping you count the gaps or c count how many steps you're taking is to count the gaps in between. Don't count the tick marks because that will lead to huge confusion when you start um, adding that one in or adding that one. Count the gaps. One, two, three, four, five gaps. Okay, that's why I divided by five. Oh, that's the last one. Okay, um, that's the end of the video. I um, hope that's been helpful. Thanks. Bye.